we now have four waves of our Global Trust and Professions Survey stretching back to 2018. What I want to do today is focus on what has, and more importantly, what hasn't changed for trust in different professions over the last few disruptive years. Each year in the Global Trustworthiness Monitor, we ask people around the world how trustworthy or untrustworthy they find different professions, rating them from one to five. So what does this year's ranking look like? As in previous waves, there is an academic bent to the most trusted professions, with doctors and scientists tied for the top spot. Other more trustworthy professions include teachers, members of the armed forces, as well as the ordinary person in the street. Each year we see the same profession rooted to the bottom, politicians. Echoing previous waves, advertising executives and government ministers complete this year's bottom three. My own profession, opinion pollsters, usually fall right in the middle of the table. This year we've maintained our reputation for impartiality by having exactly equal proportions of the public considering us trustworthy and untrustworthy. So how far has this changed over time? When we look at pandemic-driven differences in our trend data, our attention is again drawn to the top and bottom of the global list. In 2018 and 2019, scientists were the world's most trusted profession. But in the pandemic, doctors received an extra booster, which moved them ahead of scientists for 2021. In some countries, this change was dramatic. For example, trust in doctors in Hungary rose by 19 points between 2019 and 2021. The heightened attention on medical workers during the pandemic may have been part of the explanation here. It seems that doctors administering the vaccines benefited more in public trust than the scientists who created them. However, looking at this year, this injection of extra trustworthiness seems to have been short-lived. Doctors' trustworthiness fell six points between 2021 and 2022, and they're now at the same level they were before the pandemic. And while trust in scientists fell by four points, they're now level with doctors at the top of the trust league table. Now let's turn our attention to the lowest scorers, politicians, government ministers, and advertising executives. In each year of the survey, these groups stand apart with fewer than one in five rating any of them as, a, as trustworthy. In fact, almost two thirds consider politicians actively untrustworthy. Yet during COVID, these professions saw an uplift too. Between 2019 and 2021, the proportion who consider politicians to be untrustworthy fell by four points, although still more than six in 10 thought they were untrustworthy. Government ministers benefited too, distrust fell by five points to just above half. Meanwhile, ad execs saw their distrust score drop from almost half to four in 10. But these gains have also proved to be short-lived. Our 2022 data confirms a movement back towards the pre-pandemic norm. Distrust in politicians and ministers has risen marginally, although they remain in a slightly better position than 2019. The pandemic gains for ad execs have been completely reversed. So what does it all mean? You may have realized that many of these changes are small, Unlike trust in industry sectors, changes in trust in professions have reverted back towards what we were recording before the pandemic. This suggests to me that trust in professions can be explained by a values-based model of public opinion. Values are our deep-held opinions about how we think the world should work. Often these are formed early in life and carried with us. Values are slow to change, even in the face of significant disruption like the COVID-19 pandemic. During COVID, the focus on medical science and sympathy for the pressures facing politicians may have moved the dial somewhat. The net result was greater trust in doctors and a softer hearing for politicians and government ministers. But without these pandemic pressures, these small shifts are being undone. Trust in most professions has drifted back towards where it was beforehand. Politicians may not have helped themselves either. Sitting here in the UK, we've seen a number of scandals and resignations, which might have reminded us about some of their more negative features. The influence of values means we can expect similar results for trust in professions into the future. This is an important consideration for any profession on the list. With perceptions of trustworthiness so fixed, changing public perceptions of a profession will be challenging. So how can they begin to make a change? For some first steps, politicians should consider other parts of the trust equation. For instance, we know that keeping your promises and being transparent are more important than having good intentions or, or having shared values. So how can less trusted professions focus on these facets to improve their scores in the future?